One word to describe Tom Milroy is leader. He is a leader on and off the field for four years at MSUB, and uh, he's a great player and even better guy. And I just find myself fortunate that I got to play three years with him and uh, build such a great friendship that uh, has lasted since. One word to describe Tom would be dependable. One word I can think of uh, to describe you as is a great leader um, on and off the page and a loyal friend. One word to describe Tom? Solid. You can't describe Tom with one word though. Class act, legend, leader. One word to describe Tom is a leader. One word about Tom, honorable. One word to describe you, and, and that word for me is passion. Uh, you always played with, with a passion on the field. You always had a passion in the classroom for what you did, and, and it, it made you successful in Montana, and it's it's carried you forward beyond the end of your career, and it'll continue to carry you forward. So so I just thought you had a, had a passion for life and, and, and continue continue that. Um. My favorite memory of playing with Tom, I don't know if I can pinpoint one, but it was always great to be uh, on the field with someone who could say anything and everything that came to their mind and they wouldn't get in trouble because the referees had no clue what he was saying with his accent. I do remember one time, North Dakota trip, which was always a nightmare it seemed like. Uh, it was a blizzard outside, I think it was like half hour, 45 minutes before the game was about to start. And our leader, of course, Tom, our captain, decided to let everybody know that he brought two left-footed boots to the game. So yeah, that was pretty shocking. Um, by the way, Tom has massive feet, I think they're like size 12 or 13, so not exactly sure who bailed him out on that one. Um, good soccer memory, riding into practice. In my tiny little Acura where you guys barely even fit in it and you guys used to hit the music I used to put on mainly because it was in Spanish. My favorite memory of Tom was meeting him in preseason realizing that there would always be a supply of sunscreen. Sorry Tom, can't avoid the burn this time. One of the things about Tom that always got our team going was when he yelled, we haven't started yet and I knew that that was going to get our team going and lift us to the next level. My, my greatest soccer memory with you Tom was was it was your freshman year? We were we were uh, we were in a meeting room. Coach asked, you know, anybody speak up who want to say anything. And I think you were frustrated with how the defense was playing um, and, and communicating, and, and, and you felt like you were trying to communicate, and, and people maybe weren't listening to you. Uh, I think I think the issue was your accent was was awfully thick, and. Uh, and, and you stepped up as a freshman, you know, halfway through the year, and you say. Uh, Guys, you know, you gotta listen to me. You gotta, you gotta listen when I say push up. You know, when I say push up with me, everybody's gotta push up and stay with me. And, uh, and Chris Cornish is in the back and he looks confused and he goes, he goes, what? Well, I always thought you were saying pussy willows. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it got a good roar from, from the group, but, but it just kind of explained how thick the accent was and how, how much we struggled with, uh, with our communication with, with some of you foreigners out there. So, uh, that was, that was pretty funny. Tommy. AK Purple Watang. I'll never forget that deep Scottish accent shouting referee and going red whenever you used to question a call. Also, the best experience was definitely us beating Seattle Pacific that last game of the season. <clears throat> Such a big win. I remember the party after. Huge night. But f funny memories of you. Um, freshman initiation with you and your nappy and also with your sprayed black hair. Passed out. Really, really funny. But I never will, I never forgive you, Tom, for letting Sam Beam, or well now your wife, Sam Milroy, into our room to switch my shampoo for mayonnaise. That was a really, really bad move on your part. But at least you married her, mate. Cheers, bud. Just in general, uh, some great memories. Uh, beating SPU on the road my sophomore year, that was a huge game. And uh, playing at Mary was always fun. Uh, it was always seemed to be snowing or uh, hurricane winds, and it always made it an interesting game and a great time to spend with the guys on the road. Tom, we've shared a lot of good memories. One that's really distinct in my mind that kind of makes me laugh are 
a couple of the salmon dives that you used to do. Best memory overall, having the honor and privilege to meet your family stateside. A lot of great memories, but um, the things that stuck out to me the most was how Germany was out the field as well. Uh, it definitely rubbed off on me, that's for sure. Uh, he made me a more highly motivated student just because he was the guy that knew exactly where he was going when soccer was over or when college was over. So I'm thankful I went to school with Tom as well. Uh, he was a great friend and it definitely impacted my life. I know I was your favorite captain that you played with and my favorite memory of you is Pussy Willows. <laughs> Congratulations, Tom. Super happy for you. This is well-deserved, and it was an honor playing with you over the years. Hey, Tom. Greetings from Costa Rica, and congratulations on your award. Very well-deserved. Uh, so once again, man, congratulations uh, to you and your wife on your awards. And if you were to come to Costa Rica, we'll go surfing. Pura vida. Hey, it's Tommy Greg here. Uh, congratulations, man. Big, huge accomplishment. So proud of you. You know, the Montana State University of Billings Athletic Hall of Fame, uh, you know, very rare for, for a player to get in there, um, especially a defender. Usually they save that for the playmakers and the, and the goal scorers and, you know, the Sam Charles of the world. I think he's already in there, but, but you deserve it. Well done. Uh, I hope you're still playing. I hope you're doing well. Uh, very proud of you. Um, I hear you're, you're a big Timbers fan. So I hope that you're still watching the MLS and paying attention to, to what's been going on recently out there. So uh, enjoy this, man. Have fun. Bye. Congratulations, Tommy uh, and Sam as well. Your wife, not the other one. Um, really proud of you both. Um, shame she had to work for Portland for so long, but at least we're the champs now. <laughs> Tom, congratulations. This is a huge honor, and I really can't think of anybody else that deserves it more than you do and I'm sure all our past teammates and friends share the same opinion so again congratulations I'm really happy for you just in general congrats Tom you uh, totally deserve this I couldn't think of a more deserving person to be inducted for men's soccer and just wishing you all the best